Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Haley, the face of Waco Girl Does. You're listening to No Waco. We're back with another episode of No Waco, and I have some very special guests today. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Oh, my name is Jeremy Stones. I'm uh, Richie Richardson. Yeah, and who are you guys with? Oh, Twisted Bubble Station. Awesome, and you guys are a brand new... Bubble tea, tea shop. Bubble yeah. tea? Can you explain that more for people who may not know? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, bubble tea... Started in Taiwan in the 80s and uh, became more popular in the United States over the, the past few years. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're, we're obviously lovers of it and wanted to bring it to Waco. Yeah. yeah. So with the boba tea, you can pretty much mix anything in with it. You've got uh, the powders, which are more of like a savory. Uh, anything from, you know, vanilla, chocolate to uh, Thai teas, taro. Uh, then you've got the syrups. You can do strawberry, pineapple, mango. Uh, we've got rose flavored, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, and so are you guys Waco natives or what brought you to Waco? Yeah, we're both from Waco. Yeah, yeah, both gr- from grew Waco. up around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you went to Robinson. Yeah, I went uh, to Robinson. Oh, wow. Robinson my Nice sister, My husband substitute teaches over there. Oh, so, great. Yeah. wow. <laughs> Shout out. And then I've been in Lorena for. 38 years yeah, <laughs> so, yeah that's really awesome and i know you left and came that's back right. yeah i went for college i went i taught in houston for a little mm-hmm. while there was music actually, actually a music teacher mm-hmm. down oh, there wow. and then i worked uh switched over to computer programming so i was up in the dallas oh, area wow. so you're tech savvy right and then i came back I came <laughs> now back you're here. tea savvy <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah so now you're back in waco how are you liking it oh you know i love it i've always mm-hmm. loved waco um I didn't think when I was younger it would be the place that I wanted to live when I got older, but it's definitely changed a lot. It's a great town to be in. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of great people. Yeah, so what encouraged you guys to start a business? Well, I uh, was feeling an itch. I It actually, I'll take it back to um, a good friend of mine from high school, sadly passed away. Oh, no. And uh, it it wasn't somebody I had connected with a lot since then, Mm -hmm. but he was a good friend of mine back then. Mm -hmm. Um, And when I came back, they had his funeral, and... um, that just really touched me in a way that, you know, we don't live forever and you got to kind of just go out there and take chances. And I think that's what he would want um, yeah. to see. And I uh, I started just ideating things that I could do, something yeah. I could, you know, be a better, better part of the community in some way. And uh, bubble tea is something I've always loved. Mm-hmm. Had an idea actually for a margarita shop. Ooh. But uh, I think that um, that can you know, be difficult with the liquor Mm -hmm. licenses right away. So I fell back to my love for bubble tea and thought, Mm -hmm. let's focus on this for now. And Mm -hmm. we've applied for our liquor license. Yes. Um, And so that's where the twisted comes, uh, right? Yeah, sure. Why? There's no reason you can't do both. Mix and match. (laughs) Por que no los dos? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. um, But yeah. So if you can you explain what the bubbles in the bubble tea is? Yeah, sure. Um, You would take that, Richie. So the traditional style is... um, the tapioca pearls mm-hmm. and if you've ever had like tapioca pu- pudding or anything mm-hmm. all it is is this these little round brown crumbly balls mm-hmm. almost looks like mm, uh, delicious clay <laughs> so we boil those mm-hmm. and once it, once they've gotten there we soak them in like an agave honey with a brown sugar mixture and they just soak up all that sweetness Ooh, delicious and so you're getting that sweet chewy mm-hmm. sensation uh, we also have like the bursting bobas, mm-hmm. which are like filled with uh, like blueberry or mango or strawberry or pretty much anything you can imagine mm-hmm. you can put into them. Yeah, it's just little bursts of juice, and we have jellies too. Ooh. We just ordered crystal boba, which is uh, you know it's fancy. A, uh, it's chew- a little chewier, but it's it makes it to where you can put your boba in the fridge overnight, mm-hmm. and it's still good, just as good the next day. Yeah, um, something that the tapioca pearls don't do. Hmm. And what is your favorite drink that you guys are currently serving? Well, I actually brought it with us here. I have the taro coconut is my favorite flavor. Go ahead and okay. product place it for us. Show it off. Show it off. 
Yeah, this here is a taro coconut. It's got that purple flavor. That's from mm -hmm. the taro. And we mix in the, the coconut, which doesn't mm -hmm. change the color at all. And then inside here, we also have uh, strawberry jellies, mm -hmm. um, which is a very popular uh, so cute. boba substitute. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. lots of great colors here. Sorry, one of the prettiest ones is the um the rainbow jellies. Mm -hmm. <gasps> rainbow jellies. Yeah, that's oh. a that's a lot of color to the drinks. I love that. And what are the other drinks you brought with us oh, today? Sure. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so here we also have a uh, strawberry uh, lemon. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a syrup based one, and it's got blueberry bursting boba in it. Ooh, fantastic. And then last but definitely not least here, we um, have our Thai tea, mm -hmm. which is a favorite of a lot of people, and it's got the traditional tapioca pearls in it, the traditional boba. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you so much for bringing those in the studio. Um, I think the limited one was already claimed by our cameraman, um, but I will definitely be taking um, the the tea one. Do you want to straw? Definitely. Yes, please send it my way. And then the fun thing about it is you get the big boba straw, which is fantastic. Yes, I'm a... I'm a bit of the mad scientist when it comes to the flavors. Mm -hmm. So I'll take just oddball combinations mm -hmm. and put them together. And somehow they work. Like yeah. uh, around Valentine's Day, we had some avocado powder Ooh. and rose-flavored syrup. Avocado and rose? I mixed the avocado and rose it's amazing. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I'm gonna have to try that. I bet it was like very creamy, but still had like a nice floral taste yeah, to it. Yeah, I had to mm -hmm. had to back off the rose. The rose is a very strong mm -hmm. flavor, but it was it was very good. Mm -hmm. And then this like strawberry lemon one here, I make something similar to that, but instead of the water, I use Topo Chico. Ooh, let me some sparkling and, water. Yes, that sounds fantastic. So, I mean, there's just an endless variety of things you can do with it. Yeah, that is amazing. And you guys have opened yourself up to having so many options. And again, with getting your TBC, you're providing so many different ways that you can create a new fusion drink that may never have been seen before. Um, and you guys are right here in Waco. Tell us about where your location is and where people can find you. Oh, sure. We're located right on the corner of Hewitt Drive and Spring Valley Road. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 1213 South Hewitt Drive. Um, you can't see us right off of Hewitt Drive, but if you take that Spring Valley exit, we're right there on the corner there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and there's a lot of development happening over in that area. What do you guys think about that? Well, I mean, it's a great, uh, it's a great expansion. We uh, we're looking forward to all of the, the residential, um, all the residences that are going to be there, all the people that can be right there, ready to enjoy our bubble tea. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I know you guys said that you've been in Waco for quite a while. So, um, what are some of the developments that you've seen that you guys are very excited about? Um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean, coming back and, you know, obviously Magnolia mm -hmm. and uh, cool things like we're right next to the Waco escape rooms. Mm -hmm. That's always obviously something we Shout didn't out. have. <laughs> and uh, we also uh, have the axe throwing. Mm -hmm. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> but lo lots of cool stuff here. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I, I moved in off a new road mm -hmm. and we're right across the street from the new Cinemark that was yes. just built. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. I love going there. The heated seats are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then what is something you would like to see in Waco that's not here yet? Ooh. Oh, I would love to see an Alamo Draft House. <gasps> Ooh, that would be fantastic. Well, yes. I mean, we did originally have the Hippodrome. The Hippodrome Unfortunately, yes. it is closed. Um, Unfortunately. They are doing some programming, but just not to the full extent of which they were. So if you guys haven't had a chance yet, go look at the Hippodrome website. Um, they're trying to bring back some more concerts and some more like um, different event type things, but it is being ran by the realty company. Um, but you know, maybe one day we'll have something more like that. What is something else you would like to see? Um, well, I want them to bring back the Waco Wizards. Yes! <laughs> oh my we gosh. We were just talking about that. You have to talk to Mike, our producer, about that. He is a Waco Wizards fan. He actually, I think, like owns a trademark for them, oh, for wow. their logo or something. So, hilarious story. I just, I, I loved going to those games mm -hmm. when I was younger and it was just something special that, you know, not a lot the of... The pageantry can... of it. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so now you guys have your own shop and you guys are entrepreneurs and business owners of your own. Um, has anybody helped you along this journey or anybody you would like to give a shout out to? Yeah, well, definitely. Um, I mean, my, my parents are here in town. They've been mm -hmm. very supportive. Uh, my mom, 
has uh, been the one to take all of the shipments before we Aww. could ship stuff to the to the shop. So she, she just getting, had a kitchen full of just supplies. Giant, she would have <laughs> dozens and dozens mm-hmm. of boxes just lined up in front of her her front door, and she mm-hmm. was cool about keeping those. Mm-hmm. Uh, my fiance has been putting up with me constantly talking about bubble Aww, tea. Oh, shout the last out! Months, so <laughs> big shout out there. Um, my my best friend David, um, mm-hmm. he um, he's been there all throughout the this whole time, just as somebody to bounce ideas off of, helping me come up with solutions to problems that I've had. So definitely a big shout out to him. Yeah, um, and then but, anybody you would like to shout out? Uh, yes, uh, uh, the people in the community have been great, uh, especially people like John Gotti and mm-hmm. the Skellington. Shout out to the Skellingtons, yep. Sean and Kylie. We love you guys as always. Yep. Um, uh, my friend Jesse Melton, she mm-hmm. works with the uh, the motocross out here. She's gotten us into uh, do an event out there. So just the other the other communities out here reaching out mm-hmm. and helping a small business get on their feet has just been amazing. Yeah. And so what is the story of you two coming together? So tell me a little bit more about this <laughs> yeah. partnership. So I was uh, I was happily retired mm-hmm. uh, for about five years. No one does that in Waco. No I one know. retires. I know you get sucked back in. <laughs> and I was just I was perusing Facebook, and coincidentally, I just passed you know the opening soon sign mm-hmm. for the shop, and I saw him you know post about it, and I was like, hey, you know, made a comment, congratulations, can't wait to try mm-hmm. it. Uh, he ended up adding me as a friend on Facebook Aww. and we were like chatting until like midnight that night. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, I came in to check out the store. Oh, wait. And... So now we'll be right back from our commercial break. Yeah, so we're back from our commercial break. Go ahead and pick up where you left off. Uh, so the next day I'd gone in to, you know, check out the shop and see everything and ended up walking out, working with. Mm-hmm. Probably one of the best guys I've ever met. So. Oh, yeah. And the way I actually found you guys was through Facebook. Um, so how can we find you in more ways? Well, Facebook's a great way to find us. We're mm-hmm. on there at just as Twisted Slide Bubble in the Station. the DMs. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, Google Maps is a great resource. Mm-hmm. If you find us on Google Maps, that'll link you to our Square website where you can order directly. It'll link you to our number where you can give us a call if you have questions. But more importantly, it'll give you the address so you can come find us and have a delicious bubble tea. Yeah, that's fantastic. And um, I know it is the beginning of 2022, so one of the questions I've been asking people is, what is your goals, or what would you like to see come out of this year? Definitely the that liquor license would be fantastic. <laughs> yes, that would be fantastic. Uh, we know but, all about that TVC but license. But we want to, yeah, we want the customers that have been coming back over and over to continue to enjoy their experience and to love coming here and um, to Twisted Bubble Station. And uh we would love to get that liquor license so we can do all sorts of uh, new fun stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. We do live in the city of Hewitt, so we got to keep that mm-hmm. ratio where we're uh, selling at least 50% non-alcoholic. <laughs> uh, but I like that. It keeps mm-hmm. it uh, family friendly. Yeah. We can have people of all ages coming in there and enjoying great drinks. Yeah. Uh, one big thing I'm looking forward to is I'd like us to get into a food trailer as well. Ooh. And travel around, set up here downtown, go Ooh. to events. And just bring the boba to the public, mm-hmm. and because we did the skeleton market, mm-hmm. and how did that go? Weekend. It was amazing. We I had got such to see a good time. So many old friends. Mm-hmm. And the one I miss. Ones. My mother was in town this week, so I actually run a small boutique or Bone Kitten Boutique, mm-hmm. um, okay. and we normally set up as a vendor. But this month, my mom was in town because it was my birthday um, last week. Happy so birthday. my mom came into town, so I spent the weekend with my mother. But I missed out on Skunk. So I like this was the best one. We will be there next month too. Yeah, so. we absolutely plan mm-hmm. to come back. Yeah. yeah, are you guys planning on doing any of the other vendor markets around town? Or yes, uh, John's actually going to be emailing me a list of them, like the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. East Side Market. Market. Shout yeah. out Eric Linares. We've had him on here. Pretty much everybody downtown um, we've had come on the show at one point. And um, we created such an amazing community. Awesome. Um, what is another way that you guys would like to be involved with our community? Well, uh, we we did join the Hewitt Chamber of Commerce. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'd love to reach out to school districts and, you know, be a vendor at different events, mm-hmm. maybe help athletic programs build by doing booster, you know, mm-hmm. um, fundraising for them and uh yeah just getting in touch with with different age groups Mm -hmm. uh would love for a a lot of people don't know about boba or haven't tried Mm -hmm. boba so we definitely encourage you to come out and try it if you haven't but um if we can find ways to introduce boba to age groups that don't normally Mm -hmm. try it or haven't tried it Mm -hmm. that would be wonderful yeah and what is something you would tell somebody that hasn't tried it to get them to try it 
Wow. Um, it's it's fabulous. It's I, good. Just try it. <laughs> <laughs> just try it. I was going to say, just close your eyes. And... Close your eyes. Suck up these yeah, little well, balls. Some people, some people aren't, <laughs> speaking of the balls, some people aren't crazy about the tapioca texture. I love it. So uh, if if they don't, those mm-hmm. other alternatives mm-hmm. with the burst and boba yeah. and the jellies mm-hmm. work really great. There, there's something for everybody. Mm-hmm. That's the great thing about it. What is a good starter drink? Ooh, good starter. Oh, if... What do you think? <laughs> any of the any of the syrups, I think, mm-hmm. are probably the good intro route because mm-hmm. they blend well with the uh, with the bursting bobas and mm-hmm. they're more of like a fruity sweet drink that people are more used to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you know graduate up to the, you know the powders and eventually get into the avocado rose. Mm-hmm, there yeah. you go. Eventually then you get there. Yeah, it's just like your baby stepping into the extreme. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Um, is there anything else you guys would like to share with our listeners today? Well, uh, me personally, I just wanted to thank you. Thanks mm-hmm. for reaching out and finding us. Appreciate you uh, reaching out on Facebook and um, sliding in the DMs. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's nice to it's nice to be here and nice mm-hmm. to talk about this and get to meet you. Yeah, well, thank you guys. It's a pleasure. You guys are the cool ones. I'm just here to give you guys the platform. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate well, it. We appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you again for coming on, and I am definitely looking forward to more tea like this. So, awesome. thank you guys. Thank you. This is Min Haley. I'm signing off. Tune in every Friday for all of the events and activities. Now that you know Waco, just go. Go, Waco!